Turkey and Syria earthquake, total confirmed death toll is 2,300 people, cold weather threatens to hamper the process of rescuing victims in the latest development, the number of victims who died after two large earthquakes rocked Turkey and Syria was confirmed as many as 2,300 people. Turkey's disaster management agency updated the death toll from the quake on Monday morning to 1,498, meanwhile in Syria, the death toll is now 810, according to the AFP news agency, which combines reports from authorities in government-controlled areas and the White Helmets agency in areas under rebel control. Combined, the death toll in the two countries stands at more than 2,300 people. Monday, the 6th of February 2023, the earthquake killed at least 1,498 people in Turkey and 810 people in Syria. The earthquake also resulted in 7,600 people in Turkey and 1,280 in Syria injured and thousands of buildings collapsed. The death toll is expected to rise. In addition, aftershocks are also predicted to continue for days or weeks, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan said on Twitter that search and rescue teams were dispatched immediately to the quake-hit areas. Previously, a devastating earthquake rocked the territory of Turkey. A powerful earthquake with a magnitude of 7.8 first rocked Turkey on Monday, six halves in the morning. In the afternoon, a second powerful earthquake with a magnitude of 7.5 shook again at around 13.24 local time, according to the European Mediterranean Seismological Center. The tremor of the earthquake in Turkey was also felt in several other countries, such as Cyprus, Syria, Lebanon, Greece, Jordan, Iraq and as far away as Romania, Georgia, to Egypt. U.S. to Russia to send help, a number of countries such as the United States, U.S. to Russia are also ready to send aid. U.S. President Joe Biden said he was deeply saddened by the disasters that hit Turkey and Syria. Biden also promised aid from his country, I am deeply saddened by the loss of life and devastation caused by the earthquakes in Turkey and Syria. I have directed my team to continue to monitor the situation in coordination with Turkey and provide any and all assistance needed. Biden tweeted from his official account, condolences were also conveyed by Chinese President Xi Jinping. Deep condolences for the deceased and heartfelt sympathies for their families and for the injured, Eleven said, China's official foreign aid agency said it was communicating with Turkish and Syrian authorities and willing to provide emergency humanitarian assistance according to the needs of the affected population. Britain also said it would send 76 search rescue specialists, equipment and sniffer dogs to Turkey. The British Foreign Office said the team would arrive late Monday in Gaziantep, Turkey. Russian President Vladimir Putin also directly sent messages to Syrian President Bashar al-Assad and Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Putin conveyed Russia's condolences and offered help. We wish a speedy recovery to all those injured and are ready to provide the necessary assistance to overcome the effects of this natural disaster, Putin said. Condolences and assistance were also conveyed by heads of state from several countries such as India. Ukraine, Greece, Israel to Germany. Biz daha burada var, ileride var. 